Today on Gamers Couch. Photo. Synthesis. Yeah, he is really trying to get to talk. This is... I hate it when he <laughs> extends the opening <laughs> frame for more than five seconds just because... I don't know. You can do, say doom, read it for a really long time, or you have well, trouble talking about photosynthesis. Yeah, it, that's the word. Well, it's a difficult word. It is very, very much so. But I still, mean, photo is difficult enough. But synthesis. Well, let's get ready for some tongue twisting action no, <laughs> while no, speaking. Like this is blah. this is not the game for that. No, not that kind of tongue twist. It's maybe a little bit naughty, but... <laughs> yeah, it is. It kind of is. Well done. I like. Welcome to the couch. This is Daniel. I'm Mrs. Coffelot, a.k.a. Sarah. I'm sorry. I have to warn you in advance. I have a cough and I have a cough drop in my mouth. Doesn't mean that I'm not going to cough for the length of this video, which I kind of imagine will be about an hour. So sorry if I uh, sound like I'm dying. I'm not. I hope. So let's talk board games because that is the most important thing in this first episode of 2018 by the way happy new year folks mm -hmm. we are going to talk about photosynthesis and yes i'm totally capable of saying that word you are slytherin <laughs> there's the first cough i should have kind of like a counter we will go about it just like last year because we kind of like uh the well setup of talking rules and gameplay first then following that up with what we liked or not liked have a thumb rating and then share a few funny stories and experiences that we had with the game and this week is a week where we also tease the next draw for initiative episode so you have to guess at the end of the video and now why do you have the thumb rate oh the oh later First, you got to use those fingers and thumbs to explain no, this, all of this here. No, this is the, the, the cough counter. Or I can count in post-production. You don't have to. <coughs> 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 so now, oh, you, he, he's taking the second hand. Wow. What will he do when... And then I'm trying to explain to him again. <laughs> I'm really trying not to. It gets worse when I'm laughing. So maybe, maybe don't be that be funny. Come on, what 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 this else is, is new? So Lika, come on, don't don't prolong this too much. Uh, let's just talk rules and gameplay, and now you can talk, and I'm silent, and hopefully don't cough too much. Um, I will. I promise that I won't <coughs> make the pun of make like a tree and leave uh, during during this game. This is... You just did. No, I'm still here. <coughs> mm -hmm. Do you want to cough up something <laughs> that is relevant for this discussion? No. Mm -mm. Okay. So, uh, photosynthesis is um, an. Hmm. <laughs> I'd, I'd I'd say it's an abstract game. Mm -hmm. um, you uh, while while it is using these little beautiful trees uh, that you will be planting and having to grow them, um, I could easily imagine that also happening with pieces of wood or something like that. And I think that is the the correct way to to think about this this game. Um, in photosynthesis, uh, you control um, well a specific uh, type of tree uh, or branch of tree, I guess, a school of trees, uh, a crow of trees. No, uh, it's a herd. Of it's, a, trees. it's a herd of trees. Yes, um, in your player color, and your job is to well um, make those trees grow on the playing field and. <coughs> Once they're big enough, you have the option to, well, let them die again and harvest them for victory points, which are little uh, 
you round, can, we can go round to this chips uh, that we will collect. And that is essentially what wins you the, the game. Now, the interesting <laughs> part about photosynthesis is, I think, its main gameplay mechanic in that you have a sun that will travel around the board and then light the trees from different angles and um, well shadows will be cast uh, among other trees and uh, kind of impairing their ability to generate the so-called light points for you but i'm getting ahead of myself so um in any game, when you start, uh, you have a starting player, and that uh, starting player gets to place a tree, <coughs> and uh, then uh, clockwise every other player also gets to, to place a tree, since we're just playing two players, uh, and only over three rounds, so to speak, uh, or three... Um, was it? Revolutions. Yes, three revolutions of the sun around the gaming board. Um, I have the starting player marker, which is this tree symbol, so I'll just put down a tree. And uh, the, the two starting trees uh, will be these smaller ones um, that uh, we'll get to, to place somewhere where we deem them useful. Now the turn begins, and um, are you sure you want to put the tree there? Yes, because there's things that you have to explain. Well, Sarah's already kind of uh, sacrificing, sacrificing her, uh, her chances to win. Um, we will not play a full game, True. and uh, I have to make amends for an earlier game, so yes. let me be nice for once so, on camera. So in, in this game, uh, you have um, <coughs> four different stages for trees. You have seeds, which are these little, uh, well, depending on what tree you have, uh, seed, you have seed tokens. This looks like a, is it a hazel? No, it's a... Um, I should, uh, was it Acorn. Acorn. And I have the missiles from the missile fall. No, they they look like the. Are they intercontinental ballistic missiles? Oh no! I thought if you have them, I don't know if they are poison or not. I just know that they are Christmas decoration, and you kill underneath the mistletoe. So these Did are. Did you say those kiss or kills? Kiss, but when you make the could be including a fart, and then it's a kills underneath the no, no, I, I understood missiles, <laughs> mm -mm. which is a long, long range way to get a okay. Rules and gameplay, we were talking about it. So, there are four stages. So, you have <coughs> the, uh, the, the seeds, um, the small trees we just planted, and then slightly larger trees, and very large trees, uh, which will come out later in the game. Um, now, each player has their own little player board here that has kind of almost like a like a store display for trees that they can purchase by spending the game's currency, which are light points. Uh, each player starts at the beginning at zero light points, and you can accumulate those here, and almost everything <coughs> on your board uh, shows how much light points it costs. So if I want to buy this seat, and you always start buying with the cheapest one, I would spend one light point and would get one of those. Or I could spend two to get one of those smaller trees, uh, three for this one, four for the large one. And uh, whenever I purchase something, it goes into my, well, let's call it storage area. This, uh, um, the It's not on your on your player board and it's not in the game it's kind of in your um in your uh, hand it's not reservoir was it mm, it's like a storage. it's like a it's like a, a intermediate pool of yes. trees that are for, available for you to plant yes so um they're in your shopping cart and these are the ones uh, I, I can use to interact with the game board so so, to <laughs> so um at the beginning of the turn, usually the sun turns around, but we skip that for the first turn. So the sun is this thing that's on the side of the board, and it uh, fits in different locations, uh, so like like so, and it'll go around the board, but it'll start here. So what will happen is we will see how much light points our trees will generate for us. So uh, what we do is we 
look from the from the side that the sun is shining on and then see if it hits a tree. Uh, in, in this case, this is rather, rather simple. So light comes in here, hits my tree, that's one light point. Uh, points generated by trees um, are accordingly to their size. So a small tree generates one point of light, a uh, medium two, large three, and the seed does not generate light points at all. Um, so I'm getting one point for this little fellow here and one point for that one, which brings me up to two points. Now, Sarah also gets one point for this guy, but, oh no, uh, see, trees also cast shadows and a small tree casts a one space shadow. So everything one space behind my tree in the direction that the light is shining is in its shadow and thus does not generate any light. Um, this would be different if she would have had, let's say, a larger tree here because that one is taller than, than mine and then she would still generate two points of light for, for that tree. Also, that tree is genera <coughs> generating two spaces of shadows. So let's assume we have a setup like this. That would mean I get one point of light for my tree. Sarah would get two points of light for her tree here, but her other tree would not generate any light points because it's in the shadow of her, well, medium-sized tree. So that is how light points are generated. Once that is done, we get to take uh, turns and perform actions. Uh, what you can do on your turn is, well, I almost explained uh, one of the major things already to you. You can buy stuff from your display. So I could spend uh, one, one point to buy one of these seedlings here, or I could spend two points to buy one of those small trees. If you don't have any points left, you'll pass and <coughs> other players continue until everybody either passes or also runs out of light points. Um, you can pass and you'll keep your light points uh, for the next turn. So you can save up some points if, you have wanna, if you're planning on having a bigger move uh, and want to accumulate stuff uh, down the line. So since I'm the starting player, um, what I could do is either buy something or I could um, grow one of my trees. Uh, so on my player board, there's a handy little guide here that says to uh, turn a seedling to a small tree, I have to pay one light point, small tree to medium-sized tree two, medium to large three. And uh, if I have a large tree on the board, let's say I have a large tree there, I could spend four light points to harvest that tree so that goes back to my board and then it down and then i'll get one of these victory point tiles here that corresponds to the number of leaves that are on the board now in a two-player game we don't play with the four leaf uh, uh, victory point tiles here which are these uh, which are worth a little bit more in terms of points um, so whenever someone has a tree here and uh, harvests that, need, they just get a three-leaf tile. In general, uh, you also get uh, the next lowest uh, tile, victory point tile, if they are non-available. So let's assume uh, all of these three-leaf tiles are gone and I have a tree on the three-leaf space, I would just get a two-leaf uh, <coughs> victory point tile. Um, so um, that is the second thing I could do on, on my turn. And the third one is to, well, plant a seed. Uh, to plant a seed, I need at least a small tree uh, or a large tree would uh, be, be better because uh, the size of the tree determines how far away you can plant your seed. So um, I could, from seen from this tree, I could place it here or here for this guy, one of these four spaces. If I had a medium tree, those can go up to two spaces. So I could go, let's say, from here up to there. Now, um, everything that pertains to actions has a limitation in that you can only use uh, a space or a tree on the player on, on the main board here only once. Uh, and uh, that means if I upgrade this tree to a medium-sized tree, I cannot use that tree again to plant a seed, uh, because if you're planting a seed, you are effectively using the space where you're planting the seed, as well as the space or the tree that has 
thrown the seed out, so so to speak. So you have to wait for the next turn to use that tree. Just or, to be clear, yes, or or use use a, use a different tree yeah. to, uh, tree if you <coughs> uh, get the seed out uh, this turn. Mm -hmm. um, and that is pretty much it. Um, and um, the the way that uh, why I, I try to uh, or kind of use that weird uh, way of wording it saying using a tree on the board here is um, because that limitation only pertains to actual trees and spaces on the board. Um, that means that you are totally allowed to buy a tree from your display here. So let's say I'm buying a medium sized tree for three here and then using that tree to upgrade a tree that hasn't been used. That is perfect fine because that is uh, the buying action does not happen on the on the main board here. Well then just show him a couple of actions yes. and so instead of just I, talking. I'll start by spending one point of light to um, just put down same a uh, uh, seedling over there. Now I could use another point of light to upgrade uh, my my uh, well not this seed, uh, seedling um, because uh, well again just that's that space is, is in use. Uh, I just want to highlight one one thing. If you, if I would, if if this gets upgraded to a tree, then the seed goes back to the board. But if all spaces are filled up on the board, the, this seed gets removed from the game, which effectively limits uh, the amount of stuff uh, you have available for use. Um, so I used this tree already to, to place down a seed. Um, I could now either save one thing or plant another one since this is the only tree that's left to me and Sarah kind and of... And you want to say place and not tree? What? Oh, now I get it. Okay, got it. Mm, no, forget. Forget what I said. <laughs> um, Both ways are correct. Since since uh, Sarah kind of blocked me off here, this is the only Aww. space that is available to me. Uh, you only had one mm -hmm. one uh, one light point, so we, I'm a little dim. So we <laughs> go to the we go to the next phase, uh, which has us turn around the sun. So and I get the starting player tree. Yes. So now we repeat the same, <coughs> same thing we just did, but the situation is slightly changed. Mm -hmm. Now we both get two points of light, Sarah for these two and I for these two, and it is Sarah's turn. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I will... Um, curse a bit, and then I will um, use my upgrade action to upgrade that tree. I don't have space for this one on my board, so I'm just going to put it out of the game. Yes, I will be a dick too, uh, and spend. Um, I was. Uh, it's all for the purpose of explaining and, the and game. Spend my two points of light uh, to upgrade this tree. <laughs> sure. Uh, to 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 that one. Now I have the same <coughs> the same problem that Sarah has. Uh, all my spaces are filled up, so I have to remove the tree from the game. And I can't do anything anymore. We already are done. So the sun <coughs> moves Sorry. further along, and now you see why uh, I am the the dick. Because uh, mm -hmm, you're this. taking away the other light. Because now, looking at this, Sarah gets two points for that tree. Uh, I'm getting. Uh, she doesn't get any points for for this tree because uh, this one casts two spaces of shadows. So I get two points for this one, and this one. No, is because far, it is in the shadow. <laughs> this one is far away enough from her other tree, uh, so I'm generating three points of light. Sarah is generating two points of light. Um, next up, I'm spending. I want to. Uh, actually, I, I want to buy one of these seedlings. I want to plant one. Okay, uh, then I'm spending another one to upgrade this seedling to a tree. And now this goes back. And since I just bought a seedling, I have space here now to. And I bought another seedling too. To move this guy here. And uh, last but not least, um, while I at least saved one. I still want to upgrade, so uh, I have no space available anymore. These are not the optimal ways to, to play that game. You might want to uh, 
of yeah. make sure you I, have. But on the other hand, there's a little surplus in, yes. well, maybe having a slimmer. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, it's, this wasn't particularly clever of me because I, I <coughs> built a tree here that will block my other tree in the next turn. But I think we are all out of light yeah, yeah. points, so sun I'm totally in the dark. Sun goes further along, and uh, now again, two points for Sarah here, three points in total for her, and uh, I'm not getting anything for this one because it's the same size and in the shadow. Um, by the way, even in a situation like this, just to highlight it, um, even you wouldn't get any light. I wouldn't get any light because uh, I'm in the shadow of that tree. Now you might say, "Wait, wait a minute! Um, wouldn't the light or the shadow be going down like this or, or something?" Like that? Yes, but the game is just a, a kind of a, tries to simulate real life. It's not real shadow physics. <coughs> that, that what it is it? No. So this turn, I'm, I'm, I just have puny two points uh, of light available to me, and uh, I will start with making trees. Make like a tree. Um, hmm. I think I'll pass. Uh, I, I would like to to get a, a, a medium sized tree, but they are expensive, so they cost three. Points of light, so I'm saving up my points for the next I'm turn. Making another tree. Don't have space for that seedling on my board. I cannot do anything else because they all have already seeded or have just been placed. I mean, you could have could have spent the other point to buy a seed first and nah. then upgrade the tree. No, nah. that's totally fine. We're gonna not gonna play long enough for. Yes. Um, for you to have a possibility at winning, but <laughs> no. True enough. So we're just gonna have a representative thing going on. Now I have to be careful because you are on my player board, dear son. <coughs> and, Sorry. And here now we have two points of Sarah, three, four, five, because mm -hmm. this one only casts a shadow on a space of one. And I'm getting one, two, this one gets nothing, but this one gets two, so I'm getting four. I already have two, so I'm up to six points. And uh, now I do actually have enough to, to buy some something. So I think I'm spending four points to buy one of the big trees. I'm going to buy a medium tree. And then spend <coughs> two points to buy a small tree. So you're not limited in your storage area, how, how much stuff you want to have in there. But obviously the game itself uh, is, um, well, it's it's about uh, finding finding the perfect uh, balance between tree. leaving trees on the board and to generate light I'm points for you versus uh, having stuff available to work with and not being or forced to get rid of some some of the trees um, or or seeds that you can't place back and uh, then <coughs> later on there's also the the question if you have a large tree there do you want to harvest it for victory points but that's also a tree that start that generates three points of light usually per round which you'll need to do something useful. So those are the, the main decisions you'll be doing. Uh, so the, the, you've seen the sun go round the board once. There's a little marker here that reminds us where, where we started. And uh, we will do that uh, three times uh, that the sun goes, goes around and uh, then the game will end. And he or she who has the most victory points. So we actually didn't get any yet. Um, so you can see the, the game takes a little bit to get going. Um, but once you harvest that, um, the first one to get a three leaf tile gets 19 points, second one 18, uh, 18 again, 17 and so on. And so these go down in value. And uh, if you have some light points left at the end of the game, these are also worth a couple of victory points, but comparatively much less than what you would get for harvesting a tree space in, in that thing. So that's 
pretty much it. There's uh, some expert uh, variant rules in here that uh, uh, lets you play for four rounds instead of just three, which just prolongs the game and makes the 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 board more crowded a little bit and gives you a bit more opportunity to build <coughs> your your forest for more light point generation if you are inclined. So another uh, uh, another rule um, lets you um, have it that you're not allowed to plant a seed if it would be in the shadow of another tree, which makes the placement a little bit more tactical on, on the board. But all in all, as I said, this is... Um, even though it has nice looking trees and looks uh, very thematic and atmospheric with its presentation it's uh, i think at its core it's fair to say that this is more of an abstract game that uh, as you move these pieces around the board uh, and positioning is uh, quite important in, in this one can you say h player yes. number blah 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 before so, we go into the next section so it's uh, for for smaller plans starting ages eight and up and uh, the game uh, supposedly takes 45 to 60 minutes which we might say something about mm -hmm. regarding player count and uh, this is for two to four players <coughs> uh, meaning uh, you're seeing two different types of trees in here there are four types uh, in, in total and uh, that's why i'm trying to do so the other types have uh, their own uh, player boards obviously so we have uh, green and blue here um, and they come with their own little trees and larger trees and uh, this is all very colorful and very nice to look at actually yes. let, me, let me put it here uh, maybe uh, oh well, so beautiful. I guess you can't see that much uh, on, on here. But. Yeah. Anyway, you can w uh, look at my Instagram or Facebook. You can see photos of when we played with four players. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Which leads me into uh, likes and dislikes. And uh, I'm going to start and I'm going to say one thing. First, this is a very pretty game. Uh, I very much like the look of it, the chosen colors, the components uh, are very sturdy, very <coughs> very uh, well in, in quali <coughs> quality. I'm trying not to throw up while coughing. Mm, they are very sturdy and very pretty to look at and they remind me, and that is especially since you already mentioned that yes, this is very much an abstract game at its core. They, the trees remind me of those very pretty and intricate and almost artistic kind of uh, chess boards where the figurines mm -hmm. are really beautifully made from either wood or stone or something. So these pretty trees in this kind of fashion with all the tiny little animals that are in here that you can look at... Um, <coughs> and maybe have something to giggle about. Um, this very much reminds me of a deluxe chess mm -hmm. game situation there. they You said very early um, they could have done it with maybe wood uh, wooden pieces, pieces or something. Yeah. But I like this a lot because it gives you kind of the, um, the wizard um, chess mm -hmm. kind of a feel. It's a little bit special that way it is not just the uh, plastic figurines or the wooden pieces it is well nice 3d cardboard there so yeah i i also have to have to say i i like that everybody has their own player, player board, board and yeah. that the the board is not generic but is matched to <laughs> the trees that you have uh, exactly um it is uh, i think a very pleasant game um with a it. with a with a theme that is not as kind of usual amongst yeah uh, it is games. nature it is something that is definitely educational when you play with a well, kid um how does light and shadow work physics yeah. and such yeah. so you can what are different kinds of trees um why do they not grow so fast in the shadow as they do mm -hmm. in sunlight? Blah, blah, blah. These are all educational things that you can bring into or start your conversation about with your kid if they are at the age 
that they are getting curious about uh, maybe nature and not only um, yeah, toys. Sure. So I think there is definitely an educational value with it. When you just play with adults who definitely know how light and shadow works, they flip a switch and this is how it gets dark, right? Um, this is how it works. Yes. <laughs> um, this is a, a very pure abstract game, which... I find as a two player really reminds me of chess, just not with the square, mm -hmm. but with the you know, the gone. Is it hexagon, octagon? Which is it? I didn't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. <coughs> gone. And uh, <laughs> it's a hexagon. Come on, let me make some fun. Oh, I want to be goofy too, not only you. So. Um, it's just very pretty but still abstract. I find mm -hmm. it less of a chess-like game or, or it doesn't remind me as much of chess when uh, we play with more than two players, funny enough. Though it's the same mechanic, the same moves, but I find it... Yeah, it, just because it, it probably just takes much longer until it's your turn again, so meaning... There's more stuff happening, and yeah, and you can least, strategize ahead so much, maybe. Yeah, to to me, it felt like I have less control over mm -hmm. uh, how how the mm -hmm. how the game is is developing. And you really can cut each other off. The light points are way lower. Yeah, the yeah more I mean, players you I mean, have, you the, cut the each board, other off. The board naturally is more crowded with of more course. with more more players. Of course, but uh, yes, I, I think <laughs> it's uh, it's fair to say that. Even mm. though this looks pleasant and is very nice, it is also very cutthroat in mm -hmm. uh, almost a very naturey way. Mm -hmm. uh, where um, if someone figures out that uh, if, well, if I can plan my stuff so that you're not getting any light, you will that will hurt you quite quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and I mean that's the way to to play uh, if you if you want to win this game. Um, so. This is certainly, I would say this is not necessarily one of those games you would play because it then ends up looking nice. Because uh, as I, while I appreciate that this game is looking nice while playing it, that is so put aside because then... That is, is while you set up the game, you appreciate its mm -hmm. prettiness. And once you start playing, it's like, no. Nope. Yeah, it's at, at, at some po at some point someone has to say, "Well, I, I need I need a break, need to go to the restroom or something." Then you look at the board and appreciate it, and then when they get back, you can uh, then go. It could just be wooden blocks or you can go whatever on the board. You bring get. your knives out yeah. again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I I kind of like it. I don't remember very many games that do that. Um, that I appreciate the prettiness. When it's not my turn or mm -hmm. when I'm not trying to advance, but I enjoy the prettiness when I set up or when I have a bathroom break and come yeah, back to yeah. the table and it's just awesome to look at. I, do you remember any other game uh, that does something like that for you? Because I... I don't. <laughs> I I do I do like a Sagrada for um, the the window colory thing you you do there. Um, and, and but is it better. only during setup and no, you no, kind of no, no? I mean, I mean in, in general a game where I would, <laughs> yeah okay um, that's that's different because very many games for me look pretty pause, pause while I play but. And, and, and do that. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, uh, I don't want to spoil if you haven't seen our uh, kind of uh, two, 2007 review video. 17. Uh, uh, yes, 17 uh, review video. Uh, We're uh, way into this, the future. But this this was uh, ranked kind of highly and uh, mostly for for that, uh, the aspect Pretty of looking, yeah. prettiness and um that it's just a little bit different. It's mm -hmm. not the same. There's no, at least I couldn't find any any space marines in here that were murdering uh, other trees. Or They're something between like the roots. You have to look mm -hmm. very carefully. They come um, in the shape of a squirrel. But not not all is, I think, sunshine in in this game. No, uh, there's there, quite a lot of shadow. There's some some <coughs> some, some parts that are well. It, let's say a little bit annoying from time to time. There's two major, I think, pet peeves I have. Uh, one is um, 
the thing I just did very quickly, saying uh, you have this many points, you have that many points, uh, as the board is getting more and more crowded and you have to keep in mind the, the rules for the shadows and how far they go, um, I mean, you, you end up then going line by line and then it's like, okay, there's this is three points worth, these are all in the shadow, those are all smaller, okay, so three points. This one is one point, this uh, is two points, but this not, this not, so... Use this really breaks the flow of the game or a, li a little bit because you you ha everybody's doing the turns they're planning and then everything comes to a screeching halt while you go through and score the the board in in terms of light, light points yeah. before you can start start up again. Um, I think I, I'm sure there there are people that don't mind mind it that much. Um, I also have to say for all the games I've played. Usually, I was the one who had to go through and, and count. Uh, I think it would be less of an issue if every Everybody player would, would be uh, counting counting their, the, their points them, themselves, and that's a little bit faster. Um, but uh, that also requires that everybody is familiar and comfortable with the rules of how that goes. It's just a it's just a knack that kind of takes if if the flow of the game is is broken up and and you and yeah, it's like it takes a, you out a li little bit it feels um, like a traffic jam it's this stop and go yes. and yeah. you're not rolling through and, until or, or for as long until you have to stop on the highway again it's yeah. you come you come to a screeching and, like ah and that is that is a su surprisingly <coughs> uh, con contrary to uh, the overall theme and feel of the game otherwise with its like mellow presentation and and, yeah. doing that. and very flowy um, and very very pretty and the the other thing is also related to keeping track of a uh, busy work and that is uh this rule of you may only use a tree once for an action um, or a space once for an action because that means in a turn you have, you have yes, to say yes, that yes, at that a, because a, that is something that i found in a, a little uh, uh there at the beginning because i forgot to say in my mind in that turn, yes. so I missed actions that I could have done. So uh, that that isn't uh, that terrible at the beginning again. But the more trees you have on on the on the board, uh, you I found it. It happened to me multiple times mm -hmm. that that at the table in different games it was like. Did I use this tree already? Yes. So everybody, instead of especially, thinking about their own thing, have to look at the board and see what you do. If you are throwing out seeds, it's like. Okay, I, I think that's the seed I placed this turn, right? And that means I probably use this tree to throw that seed, so I cannot grow that aim. And it's and now imagine this going with four players. So you did an action, then three other people are doing something. You're trying to keep track of okay, so mm -hmm. they, they did that, then you're having your plan of going forward. You do and and in the later rounds you have let's say 10, 12 light points, meaning you have quite a few number of actions available to you. So could it very much happen that you do something in turn one, then let's say, uh, oh, well, turn one. Turn is a terrible word for that. So your first action, your first action was to do something, then um, the turn keeps going on, and uh, let's say your fourth action from there on, you probably have forgotten which trees were involved in your first action, especially if it's like uh, the, the stuff that you didn't do something about. Same with... Um, I mean that's easier to 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 remember, but uh, if I'm raising that, tr uh, if I'm harvesting that tree, that means I cannot go and place another uh, of my seeds down down there. If I then so remember, so if that's the first thing I did, and usually other players will then throw their seeds in there uh, to just claim the spot or keep you from from going back there if it's a high value spot. But it's just a it's an annoying thing where, where you pause the game and then it's like. Am I? Hmm, I feel like I feel like I should pay attention to this, but I didn't because I wanted to play the game, which is so. It's like, well, I, I find it more annoying with two players actually, because you are planning your own stuff while the other person does their action. With say four players, you could say that the person that just went uh, and had their action has to look 
uh, for what you do and the others can plan out. And then mm -hmm. you um, move that assignment towards, uh, or like, oh, I, I around the plate so that you I not... actually didn't mean that in, in regards to paying attention if someone does something wrong. Or... No, it's not that, but helping out. Like, mm. did I plan this? This was my action. Yeah. Just have somebody I... dedicated to look at your action with you while you play and then there's another player for you who does the same thing for you um that might help but i found it really frustrating with just the two of us playing where um you were uh, asking me a couple of times and i was asking you i did mm. i erased this tree right this way i because i mean if you have just one seat down yeah it's kind of kind of easy to remember yes i did that this turn but if you have five or six on okay so which one was mm. it again because uh, yeah. even and if also, you have a really good memory even then you're sometimes not a hundred percent sure and, yeah. and you don't want to cheat i hope and and also regarding to the the space <coughs> uh, since that is per player Meaning, I, I could harvest a tree, some other player places something on that space. That's totally fine and within the rules. But that also means that you cannot really... I don't even know what, what would be a good solution to, to keep keep track of that. Because you... you um, I mean, if you would have little tokens that you place on the space of, uh, hey, I have used this space or, or something like, like that. Yeah, that would work, but that... Would be would really ugly if you if you have to yeah. remove those later and on. And then it's, you can uh, maybe knock them over you when know, you're getting in between I, the big trees I mean, just to remove some little seed or something. Both. Uh, so the the remembering which spaces and trees you have been using and the 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 counting part would be perfect if it uh, if you were playing this as an app or mm -hmm. as a video game. Um, but then again, I think one of the major appeals of this game is the visual presentation of the, this three cardboard thing. And I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I could see that an app version of this might be a little bit boring because yes. it's, uh, um, it's, it is simple. That's, uh, and that's not, not necessarily bad, but I could see that, uh, this is, uh, um, not not uh, captivating enough if you're just reducing it to the pure mechanics without the visual appeal. But then again, other people play Corkle and Chess and whatever on, on apps, yeah, so true. I think there's an, but I, I there's think, an I think audience I, for it, maybe. But I think that those are more interesting in terms of choices that you you are making. Could be the same here that um, you want to go for a high score, then maybe. No, I, I mean in terms of what what you consider if you oh. if you're placing uh, here you're placing trees and obviously yes you're trying to to place them in in positions or try to um, have the optimal. Of, you want to you want to maximize your your light production so you, that then you can also maximize your points. Um, maybe maybe Quirkle is on the same same level of, of complexity, um, but chess is, a, I think, a very complex game in comparison oh, yes, to, it to is. this. It is. Um, in terms of things you consider, mm -hmm. and uh, even though you it both turn come down to you're making an action at a time, um, but you're juggling more uh, things. Yeah, uh, yeah. In, in you you there. might uh, uh, be a little more occupied with uh possibilities on or possible actions in the next three to five moves whereas for this game i find it impossible for four players it might be uh, doable mm. with two players i can see that they're actually yeah it, again this reminds me a lot of uh chess when it comes to two-player version but yeah i mean i'm i'm not as opposed with the counting the light row thing as you are i don't find it as annoying kind of annoying i'm with you there but i found the where to place mm. what and what space did i use that was a big uh and for it's, me and it's not the not per se the, <laughs> the the counting that annoys me it's just the 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 shift in the, pace yes exactly that. it's the administration part um, you could almost have like a fifth player at uh, the table who's kind of like uh, a game master who just takes I, care of. I wouldn't uh, want to be that guy. <laughs> I, no, you would, I wouldn't either. But, um, <laughs> you know, you could almost use 
a game master or something. Yeah. I don't know. But it is the same for me. And you are yawning. You uh, yeah, are my, getting tired. I, no, I'm running out of tea. And also, I, I had the unfortunate <laughs> uh, event of waking up very early this uh, morning. Not only you, I was awake too, but I did go back to sleep. You went to go for the puzzle quest and then no, you I, get up. I, I, That's I got, your own fault. <laughs> I got up because I wanted to make sure that I'm getting more light so that I had... <laughs> I was already preparing thematically for this thing. It's a, it's a terrible if you have to cough while drinking your tea, right? <laughs> Ouch. That was so, not very nice. Let's shall write. We, shall we write? Before we tell all the funny stories that we had. One, two, three. I... Yeah, I'm, I, I'm one click tilted. I am... I'm conflicted about this. I, I, I really want to give it a, a full th thumbs up, but those, um, especially the, the those two two things, uh, first and foremost, the uh, kind of my inability to remember what space I've I've been using is what keeps me back. I think I'll, <coughs> I'll, I'll go with my final verdict is a full thumbs up because um, I. I want to see more games like this, more that uh, is true, yeah. stuff that is um, well, this this colorful and almost whimsical in uh, in in what it is. And now and now we're sponsored apparently it seems by this by a very thin uh, part drop, of the tree <laughs> cough drop company from, from Swiss <laughs> Switzerland is is the word you were looking for. But anyway, um so yeah, my my final verdict is a thumbs up in terms of I I I'm, I'm abusing that as a signal to I want to see more of this and I want to want to see more games um, trying something like like this. Mm -hmm. I actually very much uh, like the idea of this physical moving around light shadow mm -hmm. uh, uh, concept that's that's in here. Um and um, I, yeah, I want to see more and more of this. And I, I think uh, if you have something that feels unique, uh, then that is worth overlooking some of its flaws there. And uh... that is true. Um, why I moved it one little click to the side is because of the general back and forth with the pace, mm -hmm. um, and that uh, is starting of the turn or and uh, of sometimes even during the turn. So that's, I mean, if I um, say uh, or have a criticism there, it should also be represented in my, mm -hmm. in my thumb writing. But um, what we haven't talked about yet, which is now the perfect way to go into the funny stories and experiences, is the manual and the box. Mm. Uh, can you tilt the box slightly? So when I was... Uh, putting this uh, box together for the player thingies. They all were, of course, in <coughs> those punchy sheets. And when I looked at it first, um, I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be awful to um, sort in the box because, well, there's different kinds of trees and colors and such, and there was no insert. But at the bottom of the box were those uh, cardboard white uh, th yeah. things that I'm you could sorry. that you could Four. pop up and then they would make dividers and I was very very pleasantly surprised by that and I really like that such a simple thing could just separate all of the uh, little hmm? um, items this way and um, coming to the manual uh, I didn't have any trouble with the manual this I, time I mean, around so I really you, liked you have seen also that this is a rather simple game in terms of rules there's not much going on there so the manual is perfectly fine yeah so fine I did, but if there's, we criticize one then we can also say yeah. hey here's a really cool one yeah, so, or it did they, its job I so. think we only once had a had a small thing where we weren't sure how that is handled and that is um, if you have chains of trees that are casting shadows and uh, how, how that behaves but it is kind of like yeah, like you would think uh, yeah. that uh, we didn't so, we just didn't want to accept that we had so few so, light points then <laughs> so so um, so that uh, you might might uh, know in, in a situation where the light is coming from here hitting that tree this is a large tree so this this and this space is in the shadow of that tree the question was, for us was would this tree get light then because this guy is casting a shadow. This guy is 
well, Shaded. same same size or smaller. Uh, so this guy does not get any any light. Uh, does but, he still cast a shadow? Yes, but he in, does. But in truth, is yes, uh, that's where the kind of the simulated field breaks it <laughs> a little bit. But yes, this guy is casting a shadow, and this guy is also casting a shadow, even though he's not getting light points. And that's the the only thing maybe that, that the uh, many could have highlighted because it's a. I think um, that's something you would find out in playtesting that uh, someone might have difficulties um, uh, doing that. You just don't want to accept that they get so few light points or none True. of them. But uh, speaking about um, experiences, so the first game we played just the two of us and mm -hmm. that was, well, as a test game, a start game, that was great and I think you won that one. Might be. Mm -hmm, you did. Which is probably I, the last time I ever... Because it, it was... Uh, they're still... Uh, like I had said earlier, in my mind, I always forgot to remember um, you cannot use that space more than once mm. in a turn. So I did not do all the actions that I could have done um, because I, in my mind, I just... Yeah. But, well, it's the first game, whatever. Then we played it with, and we had already said then, ooh, this is this is a really backstabbing kind of a game. This is not fluffy. And uh, how will that go over with four people? Because then you really fight for light way way more aggressively than even with yeah. the two of us and we didn't play nice we don't so then we played with four and i, I mean uh, it was it was really and i, I think it's, it's, <coughs> it's also it's also fair fair to point point out the, that backstabbiness comes naturally because <laughs> yeah because uh, photosynthesis whatever yeah whatever <laughs> you do you kind of um, always want to position yourself so that you are getting light points in the next turn or maybe the, the, the turn after because that's mm -hmm. I think as far as anyone would plan in, in this game but by doing so you almost kind of inadvertently are blocking off someone else from getting light yeah. and that's why and in that say, four player game we had that point where only like I was getting light none of you in one of the rounds mm -hmm. you were all blocked and you I had on one of these um, sides where the sun would hit the board, I was really good with a lot of points, like 12, 13 points fairly early on in the game. But all the other rounds, I had maybe like four points mm -hmm. or sometimes three. So it almost felt like every one of us had a light side where they collected a lot of points and all the others were kind of medium-ish, except for Christian. He, he did really have like two sides where he could collect a lot of points. He was really yeah. um, very, very good at uh, getting his first trees positioned and us not, us not being super aggressive to him yeah. no, towards I mean, him uh, the, the first rounds. The, the, other, the other experience I had was um, kind of... I, I think it's just because I was playing badly, but uh, it felt like um, that uh, if you, especially if you're playing with two players, um, if someone is in a position to generate a lot of light points, um, you almost have this runaway situation mm. where they have <coughs> so many points that they can will anticipate the next turn a little bit better and uh, kind of keep the other player who is already limited by the number of stuff that he or she can do. Um, by kind of yeah, even limiting them more, and I mean, and yeah, I, what, I, what I what I mean much. here is like you're going into a turn. One one player has like twelve or thirteen light points, and the other one has four, which is a. I mean, truth be told, there's a, you are you just don't happen to be in that situation. You have over, had an oversight in in a prior round or something like that. Um, because everything is deterministic, but it can happen. And if, <coughs> if you are then in, in such a position, it is really, at least I found quite difficult coming back from, mm. from that. Yeah. And we kind of, but in the last game, we kind of both had that um, happening in um, 
I think it was opposite direction. So we both had one side that we were really good at with um, the mm -hmm. sunlight. And then we both had one side where we were really not so great. Mm -hmm. And the um, third direction was, yeah, medium for us. So something like six or seven points. But we both had um, a side that we were really, really crappy with. And that held the both of us back in different kinds of turns. But it came down to one chopped tree. So I chopped one more tree than you mm -hmm. did. And yeah, that I, was by... by uh, yeah, it was exactly that amount of points that I chopped there that I won. I Otherwise, we would have um, both had the same amount of victory points in the end. We never were so least, close. Or at least the same same amount of these uh, vic victory times. But I have to say... No, you had 89, in, I had 111. And the last tree I chopped was a 13-point uh, hmm. tree. So it is exactly that number that gave me the victory or the win in this game. And That would have been a 12-point tree, not 13. Uh, 100... Yeah. And 11, 11 and, and 98. Oh, oh, first the 9, then the 8. That's your number. I'm yeah. sorry. I, don't, I didn't want to maybe, make, oh, make maybe, it worth. No, it was exactly the 30 I, points. Maybe I misheard. Yeah. But uh, um, now, now I, I was. Oh, yeah. So uh, all, all, the, all the games that were close, that I've played, were close by one uh, large tree. So much so that it actually was less about positioning in terms of getting the high 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 value leaves uh, it was more about timing in regards to being able to at least uh, kind of get as many uh, large trees harvested so that you can harvest your last one on the last turn mm -hmm. and that is the thing that makes That's you win the game exactly and and uh, victory points by by light conserved are Maybe more of a tiebreaker than anything mm -hmm. else. Uh, yeah. I mean, you for twenty light points, you're just getting seven uh, victory mm. points, and even the lowest number the it's entire year is is a twelve. So, uh, <coughs> so yeah. yeah, but that was um, we we never were that close with the victory points when we played. Mm. No matter if two or four players, we never had just. Uh, hmm. one tree in between uh, the two of us. In the first game, it was like the, two in, or three in trees the, in or the something. Four, in the four-player game, it was the same. Boy, no, I was, I was uh, way... The, the three of you, you were uh, like one or two points apart, but I was, uh, I think, 20 points no, I, I apart mean, from I, all I, of you or something. I, I mean, the, the timing thing in, the, oh, in that yes, four-player the, the, yes, game the was timing. the same, where yeah. mm -hmm. everybody was like... I think, I think. Can I, I grow another tree? Yeah, yeah. With the, <laughs> it's like it, a game. Oh, this, <coughs> this when when the sun is here, you still have a couple of turns, and you're kind of going in your head. Okay, since I can only do one action per tree, can I manage to get it up to to a large tree and harvest it? So that's. Um, Oh, what can I get up to a large tree mm -hmm. and harvest? And then also hopefully have enough light points each turn to do that. And uh, yeah. that's kind of the, the, the way that game turn, turned yeah. out every time there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that uh, concludes what we think about photosynthesis. If you have that game or I, if you I have tried it or played it's it. It's life prolonging, even for us as, as non-trees. If you have this game and if you or if you maybe have played it with somebody else at a board game cafe or something, I would love to know in the comment section below what you think of this game. And um, I think it's a breath of fresh air. In go the, on in the cardboard industry. I mean, th those are technically <laughs> those are trees, pressed trees. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Parts of trees, at least. Multiple trees. In yeah, a, in a very condensed in way. A, in, a, in a hot dog form. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. Yeah, so um, that would be that. But it's time now to talk about another game. Or at least have you guess another game, because it's time okay, for I'm, the Draw for Initiative I'm, I'm, teaser. I'm, I'm channeling my, my last moments of being awake and getting my brain cells together. Okay. Shake your head. It might be a little... 
Are they all together? No. No? Oh. I, I hear this tingling sound. <laughs> okay. The two brain cells, they <laughs> chase each other. <laughs> no. So uh, this game is a uh, somewhat cooperative, somewhat competitive kind of a game. You could also say it's team-ish. So everything. It plays around the globe and... Um, it has a tentacle religion <laughs> in there. Okay. Mm, there is one color that is very important to this game. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was I was I was thinking. <coughs> well, it's and also Irish, Irish horror is not a not a teamish game. Well, it's it's a cooperative game, but mm -hmm. not a teamish or. Mm -hmm. And, and there you game. have deduced that it is not. Yeah, and the deducing is the other major, exactly. major hint because yes. that is uh, that is one one of the the big protagonists. Uh, I don't know. Uh, That's why I said that word. So um, it's like kill your darlings, but use dynamite or bombs or anything. I think is the the central theme of that game, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's some bombing going on. Yeah. This, uh, and and lots of cards mm -hmm. and never never getting the right cards mm -hmm. and other, speak for yourself other, other people getting getting cards from the stack before you and mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. then you have to shake your fist at them and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's also zombies in that game <coughs> and uh, a lot of emeralds mm -hmm. was it emerald mm -hmm. I think it is yeah yes well. <laughs> if you if you studied our hints uh, well thoughtfully, then you might know what game we are talking about. And if you don't, you can see it on Wednesday. When if it you do know, you can also see it on Wednesday. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you see something different because it's the uh, the that kind of the nature of the, those things. That the more you know, the more different stuff you see, the mm. more it becomes uh, seeable, but the more it drives you mad. Mm -hmm. That's a oh, wonderful conclusion. Mm -hmm. I really like. I like it too. Oh, that's great. Now, take so, us out of here. <laughs> Not out of the room, but out of the... No, I was just thinking since you said... Um, Let's get the brain cells together in the last little bit of awakeness. <laughs> that once we stop the cameras, it's actually we'll just bump on the floor here. <laughs> no, going like, no, it's not. I it's would kind of want to see that. No, <laughs> just for my personal amusement. But uh, we'll see. Maybe I, my wish will be fulfilled once the cameras are off, which means that I now get to do the outro, so uh, that we can switch the cameras off. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Again, leave us a comment in the comment section below or questions. You could do that too. Uh, on the photosynthesis game, uh, we will be back next Sunday with a different game to talk about. So, mm -hmm. uh, come back on Sunday. We are on Board Game Geek with the geek list for both uh, the Gamers Couch and Draw for Initiative. So, you can find us there if you want to talk to us. You could also use any other other uh, social media platform that is in the description box below to find us and uh, talk, chat, give us your opinions and thoughts. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it if you hit the uh, the uh, thumbs up button. And if you're new and want to see more, well, for one, there's a couple of... Um, playlists on this channel for you to peruse and uh, you can hit that subscribe button and the bell button to be notified whenever i release a new video and now we will do the simultaneous oh, you're so the simultaneous hand rising and now hand <laughs> not the coughing that's oh. my part you have to say goodbye I... come on i have cough <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Out. <Ow. Ow. laughs> what are you doing? You're not in sync. No, I'm more take that. Not in sync. <laughs> in sync. <laughs>
Goodbye. Bye. I'm kind of amazed that he knows 90s boy groups. I'm also kind of um, alarmed by that. <laughs> but can you go to sleep now? Very good. Thank you. Gosh.